the theme for today's press service is god bless our country india today is a great day as we celebrate republic day on this day in the year 1950 our country became a sovereign democratic republic with a written constitution and an elected parliament then he went home and the crowd gathered again so that they could not even eat and when his family heard it they went out to seize him for they were saying he is out of his mind the word of god as citizens of our country we should work with other people and organizations to help them meet their goal in life lord we pray for all our country people that they may treat each other with dignity and respect and that our government leaders may strive to provide equal opportunities for all lord we pray that the evils of terrorism dictatorship and crime be eradicated in our country so that all our country people may be to exercise their true cultural education and a religious freedom we pray that all kinds of exploitation such as child labor human trafficking harassment of women and girls child marriage and all other forms of slavery may be eradicated completely and that potential such exploitation may be saved protected and be found Lord we pray for our parliamentary system that all those holding position in the political executive and our judiciary offices may be sensitized on a personal level and turn away from the rampant corruption Lord may we also remember all the selfless men and women who gave up their lives to make our independence a reality for us Almighty God may our country be safeguarded by your divine power that we may learn to walk in integrity and make our country a nation of true justice liberty equality and fraternity with freedom in mind faith in words pride in our hearts and memories in our souls help us to take india to new heights may the needs of the least and the last be always upheld and cared for May we always learn to live in peace and harmony. Amen. Good morning, respected guests, headmistress, manager, staff members and my dear students i riya duat take this pleasure to welcome you all to the auspicious occasion as we gather here to celebrate the republic day of our great nation my greatest pleasure to introduce to you two of our very wonderful ex students mr James John Afonso and Mrs Riabel Afonso little riabel as i remember a kind gentle obedient loving caring girl very intelligent and hard working so dedicated to her studies and james a dutiful student dedicated to academics as well as the co-curricular activities both of them excelled in sports they set off as flawless geniuses to bring perfect harmony in the sports field mrs riabel joan fernandez is a consulting psychologist and specialized in sports psychology targeting many achievements especially helping sports men to achieve the impossible with a master's degree in industrial psychology she worked in the area of training and development for many years in sports psychology external expert advice given to the sportsmen and sportswomen 
at the Lakshmi Bai National Institute of Sports Gwalior is one of her forte. The unparalleled achievements of Ms. James John Afonso, consulting structural engineer, town and country planning, as well as a registered structural engineer. He has achieved a master's degree in structural engineering and has been an independent practicing structural consultant for over 13 years. Having the extraordinary ability, he handles projects, especially the ongoing new classrooms at the GMC. He has handled the PHC in consulting and the regional health center at Mandur. He belongs to the visiting faculty members in structural engineering at the Government College of Architecture. boy and the head girl lead the parade paying their respect to the national flag and our esteemed guest will receive the salute here comes the cadets of red house led by miss libina abraham and miss paul dias to house led by the leader master cletus mevada and flag bearer Ms. Mansi Gupta, Greenhouse, as they are led by Master Angelo Fernandez and the flag bearer, Master Arav Yadav. Yellow House grace the parade ground. They are led by Ms. Saira Sheikh and Valerie Fernandez. True reflection of strength of our nation. The atmosphere is now enriched by the rhythmic heartbeat provided by a talented school band. I am thrilled to stand before you today on this special occasion, Republic Day. On this day, we remember and honor our freedom fighters who sacrificed so much for her freedom. They dream of a country where everyone could live in harmony, free from any kind of discrimination. <laughs> Jai Bhairav, Subhat Chandra Bose, 
James Afonso and Mrs. Riabel Afonso, respected manager, respected headmistress, teaching and non-teaching staff and students. I am highly privileged to speak on the occasion of the 76th anniversary of our Republic Day. The making of the constitution for a huge and diverse country like India was not an easy affair. At that time, the people of India were emerging from the status of subjects to that of citizens. Respected Sister Principal, Reverend Sister Alvita Bhujra, Respected Manager, Sister Sultana Goesh, Respected Teachers, Non-Teaching Staff, and my dear student friends. Today is the 26th of January and it marks our Republic Day. It is the day when the constitution of our country came into force in 1950. And our country became a sovereign state then and went on to become a republic and we celebrate this day today we often relate this republic day to our independence movement we have seen our young friends here who have dressed up as various freedom fighters of the past and leaders of the past who gave their lives for the independence that we have today that independence was hard fought and there were many martyrs in the process and they spend a lot of time in prison too. But that hard-fought freedom allowed our country to progress, to assert itself and to draft its own constitution and to become a, a sovereign state and a republic. So today, we celebrate that day. The Republic Day of India is a celebration of our unique identity of India as democratic, sovereign, secular, and republic India with its cultural heritage and rich linguistic 
and religious diversity. Today, as we commemorate the Republic Day of our country, let us be responsible citizens by being responsible in our duties that we are assigned with. Let us learn to tolerate one another and embrace the differences in one another and celebrate unity in diversity. Jai Hind. An attitude of gratitude brings about great things. Today, we celebrate not only the birth of a democratic nation, but also the spirit of unity that binds us all. A very special thank you to our esteemed guests for the day, Mr. James Afonso and Mrs. Riabel Fernandez, for gracing us with your presence and motivating our students with your valuable insights. Your words have added depth and meaning to our celebration.